I'm going to show you how to pull a cassette off a wheel and put a new cassette on. This wheel came off my tri bike. The last time I raced this bike was at the Lake Placid Ironman. So I had put on a cassette with some lower gearing on it because there's a lot of hills in Lake Placid. My next uh, race is the Florida Ironman, which is pretty flat. So I'm going to go ahead and put the original cassette back on. So first thing you do, take the skewer off. Go ahead, put that aside, don't lose the springs. Now I've got a tool here that's for uh, unlocking a cassette. So you slide that on there. And I've got this other tool, it's a chain whip. So what I'll do is go ahead and you just put that on there. And that just holds the uh, free or the cassette from turning. And then I got a big crescent wrench here. So all I do, put that on there. Just turn this a little bit. That, that's all it does. And then I can just spin this, this guy off. This, this little lock ring comes right off. Pull that off. So just put the, the lock ring aside and pull off these gears. I like to try to keep them in order. I pull this whole thing off in one unit. And then don't forget, this is a 10 speed and it's got this little ring here. So don't forget this little ring here. Now I've got the other cassette right here. Um, it's all in parts. So first thing I'm going to do is put this little ring on. Put that there. Now one thing to uh, notice is all the splines are about the same uh, width except for one that's a, a real narrow spline. So what I'll do is, and I find the, the narrow notch on the sprocket here, and I line that up and then just slide that on. And just, and da, 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 da. right there, slides right on. And then I start putting the gears on one at a time. And then there's some spacers here, so they just slide on. Some uh, cassettes come in uh, one whole big unit, or they come in mostly one unit with a couple extra you know, sprockets on there. Uh, this one comes in a whole lot of pieces, and that's fine. And you just want to make sure you put them on in the right order, which is pretty, pretty straightforward. You know, bigger gears it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And find the small. These are made in such a way as they will only let me put it on the, the one way, so I can't put it on reversed. Okay, find the small one there. Line that up. Just slides right in place. Then I take the, the lock ring, just put that in there, and I can just turn it in by hand. And then from here, I don't need the chain ring or the, the whip tool or the chain whip tool, so I can just go ahead and just turn it, snug it up. I don't have to really crank on it at all. I should use a torque wrench, but I usually don't. Just pop that off, and then all I have to do is put the skewer back on, and I'm done.